Hi and welcome to another example video of uh, circles in analytical geometry. Okay, so what we have here is recall the equation for a circle with center H and K um, and a radius R. So in other words, we have Y actually X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to r squared okay at what point in the first quadrant does the line with equation and then they give us a line with an equation intersect a circle with radius 5 and center 0 comma 4 so our uh, center is 0 comma 4 which means that our h is 4 sorry our a h is 0 so it's x minus 0 squared Plus, and our y is y minus 4 squared is equal to 25 because r squared is 5 squared. Excellent. Now they ask us where does this circle intersect the line y is equal to x plus 4. And all we would do is a simultaneous equation question. So what I am going to do I think that um, it, it would probably be easier just to solve for x. Um, so let's say x is equal to y minus 4. And then we substitute this in here. So y minus 4 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to 25. Now. I did not know it's going to work out like this, but notice I've got two brackets. I'm basically solving two equations simultaneously. You know how to do this. Multiply out the brackets, and then uh, since it's a quadratic equation, takes everything to the one side. But here there's something else I want you to notice. Um, here, what we could do is we could take two, we could see that these two brackets are exactly the same. That's great, because that means I've got two of the brackets y minus 4 squared. I don't even have to multiply out these brackets. Then I can divide both sides with a 2. So now, now I'm left with y minus 4 squared is equal to 25 over 2. And now I can take the square root on both sides. So, sorry, plus or minus when we take the square root. Okay. So I don't even have to use factorizing using um, uh, brackets. Uh, or, or I mean solving this using using brackets. So here we've got y minus 4 now is equal to the square root of this gives me plus or minus 5 over the square root of 2. Okay, and that means that y is equal to... Now this, I'm just going to change this so that we have rational denominators so we multiply the numerator and the denominator with the square root of 2 that makes it plus or minus 5 square root 2 divided by 2 and now I'm just subtracting a 4 from both sides or I'm actually adding a 4 on both sides add a 4 on both sides so on the on this side I've got a positive 4 plus or minus 5 square root 2 over 2 and I'll use my calculator to find an answer there okay you don't have to they say the answer should be no we're going to have to use our calculator we might not know whether this is still positive or negative because there's a plus or minus so let's try that we've got 4 minus 5 times 2 square root over 2 is equal 0, 0,464. They ask us in the question to um, calculate the three decimal places. Um, where's that? 0, 0,464. Okay, now for my x value, remember x was y minus 4 y minus 4 in other words it's 0 
minus four. So minus four from here is negative three comma five three. Six, five, three, six, and then the other one was the other value is the one with the positive. So it's four plus five times square root two divided by two. That gives me seven point five three uh, six. So the other one is or y is equal to 7.536 and then when I add a 4 to this one subtract a 4 I mean minus 4 I get 3.536 y is 3.536 so let's quickly do the solution so we've got a, a circle and we've got a line cutting the circle, okay? And the one coordinate of this intersection, this one here, must be the coordinate 0, 0,464, that's the y value, so we shouldn't have this part here, okay? So the y value here is uh, 0, 0,464, the x value is negative 3,536. That's this point here. So let's call that A. So this is the point A, and then we've got another coordinate here. We've got, uh, this one should be x, sorry. So the x is 3,536 and 7,536. That we'll call coordinate B and so this coordinate is is coordinate B how do I know which coordinate is which well it's fairly simple because I am looking at the uh, the size of of the the value here um, and you can see that this is a positive value and that is a negative value. So we know the center was at zero. So the, this one is in the negative direction and that one is in the positive direction. Okay. So they ask us to find at what point in the first quadrant does the line with that in a equation intersect this circle. Now what's important here is that in the first quadrant, in the first quadrant, if I draw my quadrants, I've got that these values are positive, positive, negative, negative. So my first quadrant both has to be positive and that must be coordinate B. So this is the solution that they're asking for. Ticket. Thank you for watching.